This house was very lovingly and fondly built. When we were designing this project, we envisioned a lot of small moments. We envisioned small silly fights that the children would have, uh, the dinners, the get-togethers that the family would have. And at the same time, all these spaces, despite however effort they've required in designing or building, they will become part of their day-to-day -day life. But it is in that day-to-day -day rut of our routine that this house will give them fond memories to cherish and the comfort of its surroundings of the, those memories that they've built over the years in this house. Hi, I'm Tarun Preet Singh Bhatia from Studio Mahinjadaro. We are going to discuss with you our project, The Tapered House. For more details, visit buildafire.com. Chandigarh has so much character and so much of history attached to itself, especially architectural history. The idea of the city being very true to its material palette was, is very prevalent all across. When we went about designing the tapered house, we wanted to pay a tribute to that uh, spirit of Chandigarh. At the same time, we didn't want to be restricted in terms of the aesthetic. We wanted to be ambitious. We wanted it to be adventurous. Plot size is 40. 8 feet 9 inches this way and the length of the plot is 97 feet 6 inches. We wanted to leave the green spaces on all sides so what we decided was to leave out the front space as green. Also at the back in the setback area we tried to leave as much greens as we could. As soon as you enter the plot what you have is two build forms which jut out with one being slightly more recessed than the other one. At no point is the main entrance of the house visible. So the living area is a bigger room in comparison to the dining. The idea is when, as you go in, this room automatically creates a sense of path for you. The dining space seats eight, which is connected to the rest of the house. The dining space opens up on three sides. There's a nice visual that you have of the front lawn. And what you also notice very prominently is that the dining room sits underneath the butterfly roof. Adjacent to the dining room on the right is the formal living area. The formal living area also has glazing on three sides. So again, it has a sort of the nature of the living room is such that it's more of a spillover outside into the open green spaces. What is also the centerpiece of this room is this fireplace, which is an electric fireplace placed in the middle, but again adds that to that sense of warmth for this room. Both these rooms tend to capture a lot of natural view, basically look out to the garden area and to the outdoor elements as well. The butterfly roof that you see as a prominent feature is something which is visible right above the dining and the living. So it goes upwards, wherein the tip of the butterfly, the lowest part of the butterfly is right above the wall of the dining. So what we have is this portion which has a sloping tapered roof and beyond which the entire structure which is a flat roof. The first site that you see when you come into the house is this central courtyard. You basically come from outside to inside, but that sense of an outdoor environment is still prevailing. And it's a beautiful centerpiece to have a fulcrum for your house. There's this beautiful painting that has been made on this 22 feet high wall. And uh, this acts like a pivot for this courtyard as well. Uh, the courtyard adds a lot of light to the center of the house. The lobby which is tucked in has a good amount of light flooding in from the courtyard. The lobby also has expansive views of the front lawn because the dining has windows on all sides that sort of extends out, the lobby extends into the dining. For day-to-day -day usage, we have a secondary entrance to the side which gets you directly into the family lobby. The family lobby is, is what consists of the semi-private zone. And adjacent to the lobby is a kitchen which overlooks the front gate of the house. What we have towards the rear is the bedrooms. So the house has three bedrooms. One for the father, one for the main couple. Uh, the master bedroom has a four poster bed, adds a lot of warmth to the room. The third bedroom which is for the children. The idea was to have the children's bedroom adjacent to the parents' bedroom as well. Tucked in between these two bedrooms is a staircase 
which takes you up to the first level. The staircase is a timber staircase with a timber handrail, nice details and there are Spanish handmade tiles on the risers. As soon as you come up, you have this courtyard space, which is a double height courtyard and there are lovely lured shutters which are painted in pastel green and the moment you open all these shutters, there's this instant connect with the floor below. It doesn't seem as there are two separate floors, that sense of dialogue can be achieved and that two-story painting that we were discussing, which is on the ground floor, comes up to this floor. The idea of this floor is to have the guest bedrooms on this level. So there are only two bedrooms on the upper level. So the lobby basically extends out into the front terrace. This is a lovely space. The flooring of this terrace is a kota stone which has been upturned and that raw texture of that kota stone has adds so much character to this terrace and which is further enhanced and complemented by the kulu slate tiles that are used above the butterfly roof. The, both of these are natural materials. They complement each other in terms of color tones and that sense of rawness, which is that sort of gets carried forward. Also, what is an eminent feature in this case is that the portion above the lobby is also an extended sort of a sloping roof. So what you have are two different orientations of the, of the butterfly roof. The butterfly roof of the lower level is sloping downwards, but the sloping roof above the lobby on the first level is sloping upwards. It's basically looking upwards to the sky. This has been a very seminal project for our practice. There's a lot that we've learned from this project. The palette that we used for this project gave us uh, complications, but at the same time, immense satisfaction on having used such a palette successfully. The client's reaction has been uh, very supportive and they really love this house. The interiors of this house are in such good shape all because of their heart and soul which has gone into this project and their constant endeavors to upkeep this place.